The market's still expecting the Federal Reserve to increase interest rates in May by another 25 basis points. Um, but the big news is that we think the tightening cycle's over. Uh, whether they do or don't, um, I, I think uh, the market is now saying enough is enough. And the two parameters that we looked at all the way through last year for this big change or pivot by the Federal Reserve was twofold. One, unintended consequences of uh, interest rate hikes over the past year. And we've seen that in the banking system in the US and in Europe. So that's the first leg down. Second leg is recession. And we've seen that the jobs data uh, and all the kind of uh, data coming from the ISMs in terms of factory orders is starting to fall quite dramatically now. So we think whichever way we look at it, the tightening cycle is, is over. And we can look to see interest rates start falling towards the back end of the year. The markets will start to look ahead of this and say, OK, we might be going to recession, but interest rates will come down. Then we can look for the next leg of, leg of growth. And we've always said the next leg of growth is going to come from emerging markets, and that's where India will start to benefit. Maybe not this first half of the, of the calendar year, but certainly from the second half of the year, when we start to see earnings accelerate, and with Reserve Bank of India recently going on pause and likely to reduce rates in, in October this year, then the momentum for our economy and earnings growth will start to pick up. So we've always been more constructive this year, uh, going into the second half of the year, and it's playing out as we were thinking. So therefore, we think we're going to be entering that kind of um, you know, markets which will be more conducive to kind of you know, rising earnings going forward. Uh, there will be hiccups along the way, don't, don't get me wrong. There's still possibly unintended consequences out there as credit cycle is still, still tight. Um, but these are the opportunities now, and this is what we would like to kind of tell you to do is to look at these opportunities now as a buying opportunity if markets, if we see any kind of falls in the, in the, in the short term.